So uh, Barry, uh, JDSU recently announced the acquisition of Ariso and uh, its geolocation functionality. Can you talk about the history of Ariso and where you fit into the JDSU's portfolio? Yeah, sure. Well, the, uh, the Ariso solutions change the game in terms of how operators can view their radio access network. Instead of viewing the network as the cells see it, looking out from the network, uh, we view things from the customer's point of view. So we take every customer call and connection and we geolocate that and we can draw a very accurate picture of how the customers are experiencing the network, where they're really using it, provide that down to building level accuracy. What are the carriers going to do with that data? Well, there's several uses that they put it to. Some of the primary ones are uh, significant cost savings in troubleshooting and optimizing the network um, to improve return on investment through precision placement of small cells. Uh, a lot of um, activity around small cells now. We can identify data hotspots, characterize those, and make sure they can use exactly the right solution. We've also some new uses, moving into self-optimizing networks and also using the data other places in the enterprise for customer care and also for data monetization applications. One of the big terms coming out of last week's um, TM Forum event in Nice where we, we met and talked uh, was data visualization. Uh, can you maybe talk about uh, any functionality that Ariso brings to JDSU around data visu visualization? Well, we fit very well with the rest of JDSU's portfolio. So JDSU has some innovative solutions with Packet Portal that allow the operator to see right to the edge of the network and understand what's happening throughout the network that the customer is, is experiencing. Uh, Ariso Geo really takes that visibility, we call it beyond the edge, so beyond the edge of the network into the radio space and allows them to visualize exactly what's happening in the network as the consumers see it, not as the network sees it. And give us a little background on Ariso as a company. When were you founded, number of employees, where you operate in today? Uh, well, we're based out of uh, Newbury in the UK, and uh, we were started uh, just over 10 years ago, um, and uh, originally focused on some uh, planning products. About five years ago, Ariso Geo was born, and uh, we've been working through uh, selling that to tier one vendors around the world. Grew to uh, over 100 people, and uh, then were acquired by JDSU in March this year. And what kind of presence did Ariso have in the U.S. market? Um, AT&T, a big customer of ours. And exactly what were you doing for them? Um, really around uh, network optimization, so helping them uh, optimize their network for the subscribers. A lot of that work started with the smartphone uh, explosion, the iPhone and other devices that really drove UMTS networks extremely hard for the first time, created significant problems for the operators, and uh, we were one of the first solutions that really allowed them to focus on addressing those issues. 